Hello and welcome to another video. Today is the top 10 weirdest creatures in speculative zoology. This was based on my very successful series called The Scariest Creatures in Speculative Zoology, so why not do the weirdest? Anyways, enjoy. And a small warning before you're starting in. If you're grossed out by any of the strange animals in this list, their behaviors, their attributes, whatever, I advise clicking off this video rather than disliking it. Because disliking it is not good. If you didn't like it, just do it now. Number 10, The Wolk from The New Dinosaurs. This large plesiosaur is an alternative is in an alternative universe where, dinof so, where dinosaurs never went extinct. It is much like a modern whale, but the wolk's mouth takes up most of the body, creating an extremely megalophobic view when it, of it when it opens its mouth, which is kind of like a basking shark or a modern whale. Number 9, the Panda Ravis from All Tomorrows. This creature was first found by the star people, humans designed to explore space. Unlike the native animals, which had copper bones, the panda raised calcium bones and resembles a therizinosaur dinosaur from Earth. As you can see, it has four claws, a small head, and a very large body, kind of like a modern, or not a modern, but a the Cretaceous Therizinosaur. Number eight, the high tech from Man After Man. On one of the many strange organisms from Man After Man, the the high tech is used to keep a human alive so that they can know, so that they can live longer. Basically, if someone's dying, they're put in this large metal box to keep them alive. These humans did not last long as they could not have children most of the time and are very slow to move around. Eventually the high tech became the ticks as they needed to climb out of their mechanical bodies to actually live, which is kind of ironic because the mechanical bodies were originally supposed to keep them alive. Number seven, the prong head from the expedition. The prong head is a species of alien with two legs and a pronged head, as the name implies. It uses this head to hunt down prey. It looks similar to a dinosaur in its back half, but the front half of the head is entirely out of the ordinary. Number six, the bone crushers from all tomorrows. This post-human species has a modified tooth to to be a beak and crush bones. They eventually became intelligent until they ran out of rotting meat and all died out. They achieved somewhat of a medieval level, level society before their little civilization became extinct due to the lack of meat. Number five, Durofagodontidae from Serena. This creature featured here is part of a speculative evolution project called Serena that is still going on, where canaries are left to their own terms on a terraform moon. The Emperor Reef Eater is an example of an advanced member of the aquatic family Dorophagodontidae. And yes, that was my first time doing it. Number four, the vacuum morph from Man After Man. The vacuum morph is a species of human made of made about 300 million years from today. From today, and it needs to be able to make spaceships for the normal-ish humans to leave Earth because Earth is dying. These workers didn't last long as they cannot reproduce, and making a new clone of them every time one dies is way too expensive. So they just abandoned the vacuum morphs to let them die. <laughs> Number 
3, the tempter from All Tomorrows. The tempter has a very clear case of sexual dimorphism where both sexes of the species look vastly different. The female of the species has a large body halfway buried underground while the males are smaller and follow the signals of the females to get around. Basically, the whole weird, not, not human looking thing. Kind of like an ant, but not really. Number two, the pack animal from Man After Man. These giant humans are used to pump cool and warm air out of their bodies for the smaller door of the Vader minions, right there at the bottom of the screen, riding the weird little horse thing. Their other counterpart, the food stock, is similar to, is similarly grotesque as it's used to keep the people of the future fed men alive. Kind of gross because it's cannibalism. Number one, the Emphocephalus from All Tomorrows. This one gave me a brain hurt. Brain hurt. Separate from the humans of All Tomorrows, the species known as the Emphocephali is unlike any living organism on this planet or any, any, or any speculative planet that me or any of anyone else has imagined. As you can see, the snake-like body of the creature houses a smaller head, which can manipulate the world around it. The other weird thing about it is there's another head on the other side of it. It's like cat-dog, but with a snake and a weird little tapir lizard. Thankfully, this species is friendly to, the, to one of the last post-humans, called the Astromorphs. Which kind of, which beat the racist space warps. Read all tomorrows, it's weird. Anyways, that's it for this video. Like, subscribe, share on your preferred platform, and make sure to eat veggies and hydrate.